Hi everybody! What a great workshop we had on Saturday. Thank you so much for showing up and showing up for yourselves and for the group. It was really special to be in everybody's energies. Now I know that we didn't get to everything that was in your module and that will be the case every month. There will always be some things that I keep out so that we can go over them in the month between the modules. And also we just may not get to it, in which case I, I will be sure to assign it to you as one of your exercises. So one of the things that we didn't get to was an exercise that I call giving back your limiting beliefs. And in your manual, this is on page 35. This is a visualization which some of you may have experienced if you have been to my other workshops or have watched the Ninth Chakra workshops. It's a version of that. So I want you to have the experience of it so that you're familiar with this process for yourself and then as well as when you start working with your clients or to add to the clients that you may already have. So first I would like you to get nice and comfy. Turn off your cell phone, make sure that all distractions are out of the way. I want you to put your hands like this. This is a healing mudra. It's a mudra of containment. We didn't get into mudras yet, but we will talk about them more throughout the course. Essentially what it is is hand yoga, and it's putting your hands in specific positions that are then meant to activate areas of healing for you. When you do a containment mudra, then you then put your hands in your lap, and what you create is a circuit that holds the energy, so nothing's leaking out when you do the exercise. Okay, so hands in containment mudra, closing your eyes, taking some nice deep breaths in, and exhale, and on each exhale, allow yourself to just relax more into your body, let your body sit the way that it wants to sit most comfortably. Now I want you to think about a belief that you hold to be true about yourself, such as, I'm not good enough, I can't do it, everybody else can, except for me. Just let that surface into your mind. Some limiting belief that you're carrying about yourself. Be totally truthful with yourself. This is just for you. Nobody else has to know. And we certainly aren't going to judge any of it. Okay, so once you've got that script in your head, you're hearing that, I want you to visualize a container. Whatever it looks like for you. It could be a box. It could be a bowl. It could be a vase. And I want you to take that container between your hands. So take your hands out of your mudra. And now hold a space in front of you with your hands, keeping your eyes closed and allow the energy to build between your hands. Feel it. It could feel like a tingling sensation. It could feel warm or cold. We're going to practice this a lot over the next few months. This is a great place to begin. So feeling into that energy. You can move your hands back and forth a little bit, pushing towards and then pulling out. And what you'll end up generating is the sensation of trying to push two north magnets together. That's what we're looking for. A certain point of resistance. Okay, and so once you have that point of resistance, and if it doesn't come right away, don't worry about it. You can come back to it. Take that beautiful container and hold it between your hands. Now, into that container, I want you to place that belief that's coming up for you. Okay? And as soon as you do that, it becomes external from yourself. It's now being held outside of your body. Now, in connection to this belief, I want the first person that you think of to come into your mind. Whose voice is accompanying this limiting belief that you have? Okay, now once you have an image or an idea of where that belief has come from, maybe it's a particular person, maybe it's a group of people, and maybe it's a cultural belief, just let it be whatever it needs to be. So now, from your heart, in all loving, imagine that person standing in front of you, take that beautiful container and hand it to that person. And you can repeat this as you hand it to them. I have carried this long enough. It's yours. You need this more than I do. You see, when you take someone else's belief and you make it your own, then you're not giving the other person the opportunity to do their work that they need to do around that belief. 
that they didn't want to look at and hold, and so they gave it to you. And the example that I give to you in your manual is where I say, imagine, for example, your mother, who was a beautiful and talented artist, never really believed that she was, and she passed that belief down to you, and so you've never really connected with your creativity or never really explored your own artistic potential because you're still hearing in your mind the words that she used to say about her own inability to believe in what she was capable of. Okay. So I want you to give it back to the other person. Hand it back to them in total love. If they resist it, if they say, no, I don't want to carry it, do it again. Make sure that you can visualize in that beautiful imagination of yours that that person has taken that container with that belief. Okay, once they have it in their hands, you're going to say farewell to them. You're going to let them go back to wherever they're going to go back to. And remember, this person could be alive or dead. It doesn't matter. It's their energy that we're working with right now. Now visualize them walking away, taking this beautiful gift that you've given them their belief back. So practice this a few times. Try it with a few different beliefs. One of the things that I have found helpful for this project or for this exercise for people is to encourage you to write out some of these beliefs that you're carrying about yourself. Because as you start doing that, more of them are going to come to the surface that you didn't even realize you were carrying. That's how deep this can go. And then for each of those beliefs, put the container into your hands. Imagine that belief going into the container and then allow the person or people who have given you that in the first place, allow them to show up in your imagination, in your mind's eye, and then go through the process of giving it back to them. Once you've done this a couple of times, please share with us in our group what your experience of that was in as much detail as feels safe and comfortable for you. Okay, until next time, bye-bye.